Hey guys, this is Tech Guru here. This is going to be my first official feed video. I just woke up about an hour ago. I've got a ton of things to do, but I thought I'd take a break and create um, an introduction video into transistors. Now, uh, some of you are going to know everything you need to know about transistors, and some are going to have no clue what a transistor actually does. So, uh, we're just going to do a crash course here. i got to start the video with a disclaimer that this information is for educational purposes only and it is meant for vending machine owners to both build a test device to test their equipment and how to stop it from happening or those who are interested in Tesla type or Hartley Culpitz oscillator type of devices. So we'll get started here. Some of the transistors you're going to need to follow my feed are going to be this list right here which is the uh, we have your CB type of transistors, which are transistors that are used in CB ham radio um, type of equipment. And then you have your power type of transistors. We're going to focus on the first sections of, of building a jammer on these type, the CB type. Um, and the list is right here. we got a 2SC2078, 2SC2166, 2SC1972, 2SC1971. We have an MRF 46, MRF 455, a 2SC 2312, 2SC 1969, 2SC 1945, and an NTE 235. These are all 27 megahertz type of uh, transistors. And what these transistors do is they take a signal in, amplify it, and then pump it out. Basically, on NPN type of transistors, and most uh, TO220 package tr transistors, which is the type of package this is, um, the shape. Uh, you have a base, collector, and emitter. What happens is you provide positive power to the collector and negative to the emitter. Now how this, how you turn the transistor on is by also applying a voltage, positive voltage to the base, but it can't be high energy, high voltage. So what you do is you, if you're going to provide positive to the collector, you simply use at least, at the very least, a 10K resistor and bridge it to the base. And this will take the po vo uh, positive voltage from the collector and turn on the transistor. Um, there are some things you need to know before you just start buying transistors. And a lot of people go through this and it, it could cost you a lot of money. you got to know how to just look at a picture and, and understand if it's fake or real. This right here happens to be a fake 2SC2078. And some of the ways you could tell is one, it has cutouts, notches into the heat sink area. Also, just just real quick, this collector pin, this middle pin, is also the same as this uh, back half of the transistor. Basically, if you ever need to connect anything to the collector, you can also connect it here. It would be be the same thing, and vice versa. So you can consider these the same pin. Um, one of the other things that gives us away is that it has a dimple in the middle. Real 2SC2078s don't have dimples right here. That's a telltale sign that it's a knockoff. And I'm going to show you uh, on eBay how to find some real fake ones. Real 2078s have dimples here and here in a diagonal. One here, one here. And they do not have notches on the back area. You can also tell by the back. This is just a cheap Chinese knockoff. I bought about 50 of these in a bag for like 20 bucks. Just I knew they were fake before I bought them. I just I had to I had to see it. It looked like it was from a reputable company, but that company ended up sucking totally. And I'm gonna even mention their name later. I bought two things from them, and they're both fake. This is a real 2SC2078. Notice no notches. This back area isn't is also not all chromed out. It's it's shiny, but it's more of a matte type of finish. Um, let's see what else. You can see the back is completely different. Like I said, no cutouts. Back is different. Dimple here, dimple there. And as far as I can tell, it's a little rounded here on these edges and sharp on this back back edge right here. So I gotta adjust the camera. So this is a real 
SC2078. Notice the front, notice the back. And if you can't see any high details, I'm gonna, don't worry, I'm going to show you high detail on eBay. So there's two in that package, and I have 16 here. Bought this from Yo Yo Electronics off of eBay. I don't think they sell them anymore. But I've got 23 total. These are these are bona fide. Um, this is a real NTE 152, and this is a power type of jammer. We're not going to focus too much on um, these because the ones that use these chips it, are a little bit better than these chips. But let's go through these real quick. The power type of transistors, which are not CV transistor, transistors, they just amplify uh, totally whatever you put in there. They're more like drivers. Uh, is NTE196, NTE152. I wouldn't focus on getting these. I'm not going to focus on building a jammer until later using these. And those are two different types of jammers. This is bona fide. You can go on nteinc.com. And look up some of their specs, but you can see 90 volts. Um, let's go through this list one more time. 2SC 1969s are good, 2SC 1945s are good. Basically, all these are good. But if you have to settle on some, 2SC 2078, 1969, 1945, NTE 235, those are, those are good ones to start out with. Those are workhorses. So, now that we went through that, um, we will go through here some of the things that we're going to learn. This is a low power jammer. Um, it actually uses the NT196. I'll be showing you how to make this at a later date, but I'm going to give you the good stuff first. So, like I said, no jammers will be made in this video. This is purely, purely an introductory slam course to teach you how to to teach you what transistors you're going to need and how to spot fakes also after we get through the course on building the 2SC2078 jammers I'll show you how to build something like this which turns green uh, red lights green I'm also going to be sending all of my subscribers the files to create a PCB version of the jammer that includes the timer, the adjustment for the timer. I, you guys will get everything. Basically, this this right here is an old my first demo model. I'm going to take it apart and use the parts. It looks kind of crappy, but if I were want if I wanted to, I could hook up a coil and then hook up the batteries. This is positive. This is negative. Hook up the battery cables. And put a button in, and this would be good to go. And this is a version that's ready just for a coil. This is how small you can get it. And you, you, you got to jam pack stuff in there. But, I mean, this is pr probably as small as you're going to get this type of jammer. You got your buttons, 9 volt receptacles, your adjustment, and basically you just hook up uh, a coil to the coils to the three locations. So we'll get into that later, but you guys will be getting all the PCB files. I'll give you links on how to create your own PCB, PCB copper PCBs at home. You guys will be making your own PCBs in no time. Um, so let's get back to finding, distinguishing real and fake transistors. Dipple in the middle cutouts. Another fake, another fake, another fake, 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 possibly real. See the dimples on the corners. Although this guy is from Xinjiang, China, or Hong Kong, one of the two. I think that's pr probably going to be a knockoff, but it doesn't look like it. This is fake. That's fake. That's fake. Dimple in the middle. Same people. Dimple in the middle. Fake. Looks looks real. Doesn't have the cutouts. This is fake. This company's fake. This is a company I was telling you guys about earlier. 
the Delbani Corporation. I made two purchases from them. I know how to test transistors. They're both fake. They can, they can try to sue me. I can prove it. I still got the crappy parts they sent me. Do not order from them. Fake. 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 Possibly real. Fake. No cutouts. Dimple in the middle. Fake. Trust me. Been there. Fake. Fake. Real. These are real. Notice they're shiny but they're they're not all chromed out. Dimples on the on the sizes looks exactly like like it should. There's never a hundred percent guarantee it's gonna be real, but I mean if you're gonna take chances this would be type to take chances with. Five pieces for Two ninety nine US. So let's scroll out here. Fake, 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 fake. Hate that company. Fake. Replacements. These are good. This guy's Weasel sixty six. He's located in the United Kingdom. His parts are a little expensive, but these are spot on. So if you have to, I think these are three nineteen a piece, and because I'm in the U.S., it's like fourteen bucks shipping. So it's not really expensive if you don't live in the U.S. But I've contacted him before. He he'll do, he'll he'll bundle, he'll package up a bunch if you want to buy, you know, ten of them. Cut you a huge deal, so that's fake. That's fake. That's fake. Um, hard to tell, you know. That's just a generic picture, and that's fake. So, I think we found this is definitely real, which I know for a fact. These are like a 99% chance that they're real. I think stay away from anyone that's in Hong Kong or Shenzhen or whatever they called it. Let's click on here and find out where this guy is.